As Fabio Quadraro took victory in dominant style at the Saxon Ring, it was a display of rider and machine in total harmony. But there is a factory that is suffering both on track and off track at the moment in MotoGP, and that is KTM. In a race where Miguel Oliveira finished second in 2021, he could only manage ninth in the 2022 German Grand Prix. A 2022 season that hasn't delivered on the results that KTM or Oliveira would have liked with their RC16 as it has struggled massively from round to round. Even with Oliveira winning in the wet conditions at Mandalika, the problems have been evident since the start of pre-season testing. And with the announcement of Jack Miller to the factory KTM team for 2023 and 2024, Miguel Oliveira's future with KTM is over. He has publicly said that he doesn't want to go back to Tech 3 KTM after the Austrian team confirmed Jack Miller. Oliveira won two races for the Tech 3 team in 2020, but it is clear he does not want to be riding an Austrian bike. The rumours of Oliveira signing for Grassini Racing went into overdrive and it looked like it was going to be announced on the Thursday of the German Grand Prix, as MotoGP has slotted in a special press conference with Miguel. But at the 11th hour there was a denial from Oliveira on social media, confirming that the press conference wasn't about his future and the press conference that pursued after that made for quite awkward and entertaining viewing. Oliveira had no news to talk about and just proceeded to chat with MotoGP commentator Matt Burt. However, Matt Burt was able to get some confirmation from Oliveira that he won't be riding any KTM machinery in 2023. Oliveira said I'm in a situation where many more riders have not signed and it's kind of difficult to somehow have your future in the hands of someone else. However he did say he would be confident that his future will lie on the MotoGP grid, so what is the hold up? Could it be behind the scenes a split with Oliveira and KTN's management? Well Oliveira is KTN's most successful rider in MotoGP history with 4 wins. But the team have firmly backed Brad Binder as their rider for the future and replacing Oliveira with Jack Miller would have definitely pissed off the Portuguese rider as he feels he deserves more respect from KTM. But with the opportunity to take his talents elsewhere, it might be one of the best moves for his career. He could join Grisini Ducati, RNF Aprilia or even LCR Honda as there have been some rumours emerging from the past few weeks. The same could be said for KTM's other riders. Remy Gardner and Ralph Fernandez at Tech 3. Ralph Fernandez's saga with KTM has rumbled on from 2021 as he made it clear he didn't want to ride for KTM. Remy Gardner, I don't think, has had a fair crack at this season as injury at the start of the year and also links towards Superbike have made it clear that he might not be on the bike next season. Both riders have admitted in the public that they are unsure of their future with the team. And with Pedro Acosta and Moto2 saying they would love to ride with MotoGP with KTM, it's going to be a few difficult months for the Austrian factory at the negotiating table. We will see Oliveira in MotoGP next season, I'm pretty confident of that. But in which colours? Who knows? Let us know in the comments below who you think Miguel Oliveira is going to join in 2023. Let us know also about the situation with KTM, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to Crash Moto GP for more content.